Now before I started building this flathead cigar box guitar, I asked all you out there in YouTube land for some suggestions on how you think I should go about building this thing. And I got a lot of responses and I want to thank everybody very much for their replies. So in this video I am calling out to all cigar box guitar builders and players because I need some input, some advice if you will. I've got two different types of boxes, boxes I've never used before to make a cigar box guitar. I think they're really cool. I, I can almost picture it in my head what they may look like, but just need some input. I've never used these boxes before. Maybe you have, maybe you've seen them. So maybe some suggestions on how I should go about building these two awesome boxes. When you're getting ready to build a guitar out of an unusual shaped box that you've never used before, you definitely want to have a plan of where the build is going especially before you start drilling and cutting into this thing. And that's where your input could be valuable. Because you know, I don't want to build just another stick in a box. This one, this one's, a, this one's a little thicker than this one. And then these here are very cool boxes. Big block, flathead, 70, 770. And they make it look like a car engine. It's very cool box. I don't want to do anything to the top that might deface this at all. So I'm thinking about maybe sound holes on the top or maybe a piezo or maybe an under the box humbucker, under the uh, top humbucker, I'm not sure. Uh, maybe you guys have some ideas and suggestions. Now I'm going to show you what I did with that cigar box guitar. A little cake spatula from the dollar store. And I have a line drawn right there. Here's the piece that I cut off right here and you can see that it's very sharp. We're going to take care of that right now on the belt sander. Now usually I will use a stripe plate like this for the tailpiece on my cigar box guitars but because this box is so deep and has this uh, lid that kind of sits up higher than the box it's not really deep enough so that's why I'm building this and this will go right back here as my tailpiece. Now this piece of spatula will go great as the tailpiece on this box here but it uh, just looks so blah. I think I'm going to go for the hammered metal look. And for that hammered metal look, we're going to go with the ball peen hammer. By the way, it's raining in case you didn't hear. But in order to make this thing look really good, I'm going to probably have to hit it with that ball peen hammer about 500 times. And when you do that, because this is round, you'll see that the strike plate or the plate is starting to bend like this and it will do that as you hit it on this side then you will have to flip this over and then hit it with the flat hammer to get this thing back flat Well, I don't know if I hit it 500 times or not, but it sure felt like it. This is what it looks like right now. I think that looks awesome. And it's going to look great on this flathead big block box. Awesome. I'm doing a few cigar box guitars at one time right now, but let me show you where I'm at with this flathead 770 box. 
I'm working on two boxes just like this. I have the tail pieces right here. I showed you that with the hammered metal. And I also, these were black and I kind of sanded off the finish on both sides and I hammered these as well to match the uh, tail pieces. And now let me show you what I did on, on this side. Here I have a nice big sound hole. This will be facing up toward the player. And I'm going to have a chrome dome volume knob right there. Now with this big sound hole right here, if you're playing and, and looking in that sound hole and the light hits there just right, you're going to be able to see all these blocks stacked up in there, neck blocks, through the sound hole. See? I didn't like that. So what I have done is I took a piece of a cigar box and I painted it black and I'm going to insert that right here. So when you look through the sound hole, it just looks black. How about that? Well, I'm going to show you where I'm at right now on this flathead cigar box guitar. Here's what the tailpiece looks like installed and the jack plate. I think they come out awesome. I don't have the volume knob on there yet, but I'll get it on there when I string it up. have the neck on. It is going to be on a 25 inch scale length and what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach the screws right here to hold down the box top. One on each corner. It's coming along great. Mmm, coffee is good. And now let me show you what's under the hood. Okay, there's the inside. I did go with a, what is called a .50 ghosting pickup that goes under the box top from uh, MGB Guitars. Right there, single coil. I have it hot glued right to the neck and when I put the lid on it goes right it touches the top of the box right here there is my 500k potentiometer volume potentiometer and over here's my output jack and there's my ground wire going through here and under this back tailpiece under the plate to ground the strings now this pickup does have a pretty strong magnet on it. I was worrying about it being able to amplify the strings through the top of the box with these fins. But when I put the lid on and I take a little screw there and throw it on there, the magnet is pretty strong. So I think it will work perfect. Well, I have those two flathead cigar box guitars finished. And I also had that other cigar box uh, I was working on that looked like a crate. I had that uh, cigar box guitar finished as well. I'm going to show you how they came out. Here's how the two flathead cigar box guitars look. I think they came out awesome. And I can't believe how good they sound acoustically. Now what I do with the bridge, I spray painted the bridge with a chrome metal looking paint to kind of give it a, a chrome effect. That's how they look like in the back. Both have the chrome dome knob. They came out awesome. Sound good too. I'm going to let you hear them in just a second. Here's that other box here. That is what I did with this one. Now this one has a cedar bridge right there on top of this little sidebar here. Little bracing piece right here. And look how I put the P90 in there. It came out 
really nice. That one sounds awesome as well. So let's see how these flatheads sound plugged in. This one here is number 583 and listen how that it sounds acoustically. Sounds really good acoustically. that's unplugged. I'm going to turn the volume on. I'm going through my Line 6 Spider Classic 15 amp back there. On a clean channel, a little bit of reverb. I think this single coil ghosting pickup under the box top sounds really good. Let me know what you think. Drop it down there in the comments. Let's see how this one sounds. This one's number 579. That one looks like a little crate. It's pretty cool looking actually. Let's try this. As of right now, those guitars and the rest of the batch I finished are available at southernfireguitars.com. Thanks to everybody who gave me tips and ideas on building these two cigar box guitars. Well, let me know in the comments below how you think they turned out. From the soggy backwoods, my name's Michael, and I'll see you in the next one.